what is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cobblemon where today I do need to apologize first off. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded Cobblemon in a while. I've sort of changed just playing games what I feel like playing currently. Uh, with that being said, there is a new game coming out on the 19th that I'm really excited for that I will be uploading consistently with, with shorts and videos. Oh, hi guys. If you didn't know, me and Kualava would like to invite you into our Discord server where we do multiple things. We have a lot of updates of when I'm live streaming over on Twitch and TikTok, when a new video is posted to YouTube and any other live updates that comes from me and, uh, and anyone else in the discord currently so there is a link in the description that will automatically invite you to the discord it's also going to pop up here on screen to tell you to look in the description okay anyway make sure you guys check it out come on by join the server and remember Quilava is waiting for you Cobblemon will be coming out every two weeks I'm hoping to try and get it done as much as I can but in the meantime let's start off today's video with a little bit of an announcement so you might be wondering what type of announcement is this bones well it's really nothing special it's just that in game we have given ourselves our late kid an XP share that's right so whenever we have to fight let's say that cotton the cottony uh, let's say we bring out Quilava for instance, which we usually do for these sort of battles for a display. Well, actually no, we'll take on the little scatter bug here because it's just easier, low level. Um, flame wheel, boom. You'll see down here at the bottom section, a let kid receives XP no matter what, which is good because um, I don't really want to use a let kid too much. Maybe when we're fighting water types, I might use him, but in other circumstances, he's pretty much useless. Um, but for now, we're on the road to Electabuzz. But in today's video, we are going to be starting off with some simple building. Um, I need to upgrade the cow and sheep farm to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and match the village design that we want to do. On top of that, we need to also find some extra apricorns to plant in our apricorn valley that we're starting to disperse in this area. We've got black, blue, red. Uh, I believe we've got green. Have we got green yet? No, we haven't got green. Oh, hello. You're level 31. I don't want to fight you. Um, so yeah, eventually this whole area will be looking nice, neat, and pretty much upgraded as best as we can. So as I said, this is the farming district. We are heading that way and a little bit that way with the rest of the village. So from this uh, windmill that we've got here for the farming area, which I still need to put chests in here. I will eventually. Don't worry, it is happening. Uh, I'm going to end up going that way for a little bit of a Pokemon Center, Pokemart, and a skyscraper, which will be like our quote unquote gym for our village. But we haven't named our village just yet. So if you have any ideas of what we should name our Cobblemon village, let me know in the comment section down below. All comments for the village will be taken in as suggestions. But uh, for now, let's uh, let's uh, get uh, moving on with some building. So while I'm going through the phase of collecting resources, there is one thing we need to do. And I've actually got already the amount of resources I need in my chest back of the house. But I'm just here collecting random red apricorns because I want to expand the farm as much as I can. But the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make great balls because it's time to upgrade our Pokeball game. We literally have six regular Pokeballs, but it's time to change that. Now, I forget which chest I put everything in. Here we go. Um, 32, 32, we go even that out. Uh, because I have plenty of iron and I have an iron farm. So really, this doesn't really matter to me too much that I can just make a certain amount of great balls at will. So to make great ball, it's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure it's just that. Just before I was interrupted, we made 64 great balls. Just like that, it's sweet and simple. That's all you need for great balls. Oh, it's raining. We, am I am about to find a low tad, actually, now. We're going to go low, ha low tad hunting for a little bit. And then I will, once that cobblestone's finished smelting, then we'll build our first part of the brand new farm design. Just because I can, there's a side arc here that I want to fight. And this is the perfect way to train, like, a leg kid or, like, the buzz, whatever you want to use. Why does he drop chicken? Is it meant to be duck? I think it's meant to be duck. Okay, that that's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, a bit disconcerting. But yeah, we'll just train up our elect kid here a little bit. If we can. Oh, wow. That just one shot him. Okay. Interesting. Oh, electro ball. Sweet. That's actually a really good move. Um, So we'll get rid of swift for electro ball. So electro ball. Sweet. Already on. All right. Sweet. That. So as we know, I've got that iron farm. Like... You're not in the farm, so I'm going to chop you down, sir. Thank you. There's also another reason why I'm chopping you down. I want to start using this wood for a little bit of design features throughout the village as well, like signs, a hanging post, all that sort of stuff. Is that a jiggly puff? Or is that... No, that's a jiggly puff. Don't want to fight that. I want to be going to sleep anytime soon. Okay, so this here is the starting point for our well. Are you going, well, 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 it's a well. 
Yep, exactly. So one of the things I'm going to be using uh, and incorporating into these builds is a mixture of blocks. And you might be thinking, oh, this is a pretty stock standard. I'm going to add some cobblestone into this build a little bit to give it a little bit of a rustic feeling. But I'm thinking, do I use deep site or not? Because this is sort of like a newer area where that looks like it's been there for a while because of the cobblestone's gone black. Um, I think I'm going to put in some just regular cobblestone for now and have, see how it looks. We can always swap it out and change it around later on. But I'm going to continue on building this and um, listen to these annoying sheep. But before I do that, I'm quickly just going to aqua jet myself a Ponita, which I think we might lose water gun, followed by aqua jet again, or 3% versus 7%. Do we have quick attack? We do. We'll use quick attack and we'll finish off Panita. Oh, we better get a heal on. I love the animation, by the way. Oh, what did it drop? Blaze powder. Sweet. We actually haven't gone to the Nevia, so that's our first uh, Never item. Cool. Let's go. Get around it. Okay, this Pidgey is in our sheep farm, and I'm not a, too much of a fan of it. So we're just going to... Who are we choosing? We're choosing Quilava. What level are you? Thank God we chose Quilava. Okay. Flame will. Ah, okay. Well, wind me out. Fair enough. Let's just put a shockwave on it. Because I know flying types are way too electric. So simple and easy. Quilava's now level 27, and the lake kid did not level up off that one. But this is our well so far. I'm still got the final touches to do here. Uh, for instance, I don't have a shovel anymore. So this is... Uh, it's a bit awkward here to do this. But, um, yeah, we'll just dig this out by hand. Why not? We'll just dig it out by hand. We can go make a shovel a little bit later on. But it's only nine blocks. That's all that matters. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be filled with water, I guess. I mean, it should be filled with water anyway. But put that back in our hand. Um, I'll do that in a second. But what we want to do... Actually, we'll take this block out. So, we got some chains here and a cauldron. So, from there, we'll go three blocks down and cauldron. We'll put the water bucket in the cauldron. So, it looks like it's hanging sort of thing for a little bit of retrospect. But on each side, here, here... We have now got lighting around our well. Uh, if I had some bone meal, I would uh, put some stuff around here, like grass and that. Uh, but that there is our first feature in our new farm design area, which I think is looking pretty cool already. And that that's the aesthetic we're sort of going for in this build. Um, but I really, really like this. I think it's clean, it's simple, and it's nothing too fancy. But anyway, it's going nighttime. I'm going to sleep. And uh, firstly, we're going to get rid of this tree. Okay. Now we're going to get rid of this tree. All right. So that makes sure that everything is going well. Beautiful. Uh, the reason why I have so many lanterns as well is we're going to slowly start changing our lighting from torches to lanterns in the village to give it that little bit more of a, uh, what's the best way to put it? A little bit more of a aesthetic. Yeah. We'll, we'll just say that. But anyway, time for sleep. By God, look at the size of this lig liggity. Oh my God. Look at it. Look at it. It's huge. Level 35. Look at the size of this thing. Look at its tongue. Oh my god. It's like a surfboard. The size of these Pokemon is stupid. Look at this Propass. He's massive. Excuse me, sir. Sir, are you on are you on roids? Okay, as you can see, we have to get the cows to here. Into that cobblestone circle. Okay. Okay, so this is our cow farm. Well, cow farm such stable is what I'm going to call it, I guess. But it's pretty simple and pretty basic. Um, I haven't designed anything for the middle. I think I'm just going to put a giant tree or something there. But that can wait for now. Um, the sheep, I don't really have a design for the sheep just yet. I, I really don't. But the cows are done. So, you know, let, let's get the cows moving into their new house and not dying. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to need some wheat. Wheat. I need wheat. There's the wheat. We'll just take all 41. Screw it. Yes, yes. Now, all the cows that don't make it will most end up being slaughtered, and that is fine by me. Alright, so that's all the cows that we got in. How many do we get? Well, like, he can climb in, but they can't climb out. Okay. We'll do a quick little breed of these cows. Get our cow population coming back up. And now we go slaughter the other cows. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's not murder when, you know, one of those tails scared me and then proceed. It's not murder, I promise. Oh, I have one left. Let me just... 360. 360. I hit him. I got a hit marker. Damn it. Boom. All right. That there is done. Now we just got to tear down this and work on a footpath to this area.
So that is the end of today's episode. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you are wanting to see more of this Cobblemon content. Now in the next video, we are going to be doing a little bit more of a Cobblemon based video where we're going to be going through the changes within Cobblemon 1.4.1 but also we're going to be starting medicine. That's right, potions, super potions, revives, all that sort of stuff. We are going to be learning to craft them and we're going to be trying to get as many as we can because eventually we're going to need them down the line. Anyway, my name is Bones and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.